Yo, dude, what's up? Did you see the uh, the new info they just dropped about the Brilliant event? It was really awesome. Yes, I saw it. I'm super excited that Adventure Sync is finally here. Even though it says like we have to walk off Tim Porkies, it doesn't. I don't think it's really going to be that bad. Adventure Sync is going to be pretty awesome, and I'm I'm just really excited for the future of this game. I hate this game. It's so stupid. I just want more dragons. Well, that's kind of a bad attitude to have. Adventure Sync is cool, but I wish that there were more dragons. Are you saying that you would rather dragons be roaming around the nation and all over the world just like burning people's houses down and like turn up villages and I, like, do you want that? Really? Yes. You know, if we gave them like positive constructive feedback, it would probably help the development process and they'd be able to kind of give us the things that we want as players within reason. I just want my dragon stickers. Okay. Meanwhile, back at Niantic headquarters. I mean, it's what the people want. You know, we have a we have a good player base. We have a passionate player base, and we have to give them what they want. What is up, witches and wizards, muggles and nomads? Animeg is here, and I hope you enjoyed that little segment because guess what? From February fifth to 7th, you will be guaranteed to see dragons on the map. That's right. Dragons are coming back. Everybody has been wondering where they went. Some people have been complaining. Some people have just been curious what exactly we're we going to do with all these dragon eggs that we're going to be getting from 10k port keys if we can't really do anything with them after that. So we are going to be celebrating the Goblet of Fire and we are going to be having a really, really good time with this particular event because dragons will be on the map. So I'm gonna go ahead and read what it's gonna be looking like for us as well as telling you the quest steps because there will be some quest steps that I think that you're really gonna like in this particular event. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a peek. From February 5th to 7th, you can encounter increased sightings of dragons on the map. Europe, Africa, North America, South America will see the Peruvian Vipertooth and the Welsh Green. Asia and Australia will see the Chinese Fireball and the Antipodean Obelai. Dragon eggs and dragon egg portmanteaus will also be spawning on the map. Special assignments with magical games and sports runestones, triwizard cup fragments, wizarding XP, spell books, and keys are all going to be rewards in the quest steps that I will show you in just a moment, as well as magical uh, games and sports runestones having boosted triwizard cup fragments dropping, which is a huge, huge one for me personally. That's really holding me back and been holding me back on the magical games and sports page for some time now. So in addition to normal rewards, you will see more of the triwizard cup. Here are the tasks or the steps in the quest that you all want to know what they are anyway. So I'm gonna post those up right here, of course, courtesy of Orange Wizard. As per usual, make sure you go and follow Orange Wizard on Instagram down in the link in the description below. The following task will be set to us the 5th through the 7th for these Dragon Book Night events. So that's what this is gonna be based on is the Goblet of Fire book itself. So the Triwizard Tournament where we saw dragons in the first place and Harry Potter lore. Uh, so here we go with the task. Return 20 foundables of any family for four magical games and sports level one runestones. Return five dragon foundables for one Triwizard Cup uh, registry fragment. Return five Goblet of Fire foundables for one Triwizard Cup registry foundable. Use five magical games and sports runestones for 200 wizarding XP. Defeat 30 foes in wizarding challenges for one Triwizard Cup fragment. And when you complete this event, it's a super simple task. You will be getting three red spell books, two keys, and 300 wizard XP. So this is going to be a huge event where you are able to finally prestige those oddities pages. I mean, we've been waiting so long to figure out what we're going to do. How are we going to get more eggs? How are we going to do uh, dragon hunts? How is that going to work in this game? Because there's such rare spawns. And I've seen it since Wizards Unite Fan Fest, maybe... 
10 dragons and that sounds like a lot but FanFest was back way way back like six months ago so it's been a minute to say the very least so I'm very excited that they have found a way to implement the dragon eggs in Port Keys and with this particular event that we may see pop up again from time to time but rest assured I'm extremely excited for these dragons it's going to be tons of XP although Barufio Brain Elixir isn't being boosted as far as I am aware um, it's still going to be super impactful because the XP will be flowing like honey the dragon egg port keys will also be flowing like crazy especially in conjunction with adventure sync this is going to be a really really awesome event now you may be asking what the heck are you talking about goblet of fire uh, spawns are not common this is not going to be an easy quest step well i also have good news for you in regards to that and that is that the goblet of fire spawn will be boosted the only downside that I can think of right now is that Quidditch Harry has not been confirmed as a boosted spawn. Now, I'm having uh, PTSD to January Community Day when Grop was not on the map very often. You would maybe find a couple of him, but he just wasn't around a lot. So I'm kind of concerned that Harry Potter, uh, Quidditch Harry, if you will, isn't going to be very easy to find and therefore I am a little bit concerned about prestiging this page. However, there are some big steps being taken. I mean, the Triwizard Cup, I'm missing a ton of. I'm also missing a lot of the Dragon Eggs. So I'm very excited to be able to get my hands back on those as a player and continue to progress with those registry pages. Guys, that is it for today. It is a super simple task. It is a super fun quest line and we are going to be getting tons of XP and tons of gains in the registry book. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'm always curious to what your feedback is so I can pass it along to the dev team uh, because they're constantly trying to make this game better and they're trying to make Wizards Unite a fun experience for everyone that plays it and everyone that ever gets to experience it. And so we can help build a better game together. Again, let me know down in the comments below what you think. And before you leave, before you close out that tab, make sure you at least give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy the content. If you're hyped for Dragon's Day, uh, one like equals one dragon that I will try my best to catch. And we're going to try to do a really cool video uh, in regards to this as well. I'm very excited for this event. So anyway, thank you very much. Leave a like down below if you haven't already. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. And ring those bell notifications because it helps out the channel. And you will be the first in the know when it comes to news and Harry Potter Wizards Unite. So make sure you do all of those things down below. Thank you to my Patreons and supporters of the channel. I love each and every one of you. Uh, thank you so, so much and have a great rest of your day. Until next time, peace.